What we have here are two Asus TUF or Tough Gaming products. This one is a 27-inch VG1A series Asus Tough Gaming Monitor. At ito naman ay ang GeForce RTX 2060 OC Edition Asus Tough Gaming Graphics Card. In this video, samahan niyo kong i-unbox ang mga products na to, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Don and you're watching Don Tech and More. Before natin i-unbox ang mga items na to, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para ma-notify kayo pag nag-upload ako ng bagong videos. Give this video a thumbs up and pakishare na rin. And now, let's unbox these products. First, i-unbox natin itong Asus Tough Gaming Graphics Card GeForce RTX 2060 OC Edition. So this one has 6GB DDR5 VRAM. Uh, as I've said, OC Edition ito. At ang exact model nito ay TUF-RTX2060-06G-Gaming. And at the other side of the box, andyan yung mga key features niya. So, buksan natin. So, a box inside the box. So, the box inside looks premium. So, this is the graphics card. Meron CD. And the printed manual. So let's take a look at the actual video card. Wow. So it has a compact design at merong dual fans. Tagalin muna natin tong nakarap. So the usual Asus stuff gaming emblem meron nakasulat na GeForce RTX with the golden accent nakatakip din yung ilalim niya with the Asus Tough Gaming logo and the fans yung isang fan may nakasulat na Asus so yung isang fan naman andyan yung logo ng Tough Gaming so out of the box meron din protective cover itong PCI Express Connector at sa I.O. naman niya meron siya isang DVI dalawang HDMI at merong isang display port so all in all meron siyang 4 outputs so let me know in the comments kung nagustuhan yung looks ng video card na to kasi ako sa ngayon nagugustuhan ko na siya Yan ang ating GeForce RTX 2060 OC Edition 6GB Asus Tough Gaming Graphics Card. At ang susunod natin i-unbox ay itong 27-inch VG1A Series Asus Tough Gaming Monitor. So, buksan natin. Medyo mabigat din. So, lalabas muna natin itong mga accessories niya. Okay, so before we proceed, tingnan muna natin itong mga key features ng monitor na to. So this one has a maximum refresh rate of 165Hz. IPS panel na rin. 1 millisecond response time. So, ito din yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya. Meron siyang HDR. So, halimbawa, kapag ginagamit ko is yung PlayStation 4 Pro ko. So, meron din yung HDR. So, okay din siya dito. 
Meron din siyang AMD FreeSync. Then itong Shadow Boost. Kung saan yung pag naglalaro ka, yung mga darker parts ng display is uh, pinapa, medyo pinapa-brighten up niya. At ito din kanyang 4-way ergonomic stand. So mamaya, papakita natin kung ano yung mga pwedeng adjustments sa position ng monitor. Okay? Okay, so ikabit muna natin itong stand niya bago natin siya ilabas para mas safe siya. So at the bottom of the stand, meron siyang screw. So pwede kang gumamit ng screwdriver pero pwede mo na rin i-tighten using this one na kahit walang screwdriver. So, ilabas natin. Okay, so ayan, na-set up na natin yung stand ng monitor. So, tingnan muna natin itong mga accessories niya. Meron siyang power adapter. Then yung power cable. Yung quick setup guide. Then the printed manual. So meron rin siyang included na isang HDMI cable. At isang display port cable. Okay, so ngayon tingnan natin yung monitor. Tanggalin muna natin itong demo sticker niya. So, this is the front portion of the monitor. So, sa ilalim, ito lang yung merong parang frame. And both sides and at the top is wala. IPS panel. And at the back naman. So, dito meron siyang takip for the cable management. So, pwedeng buksan. Your cables go through here for better cable management. buttons niya nandito sa left side at the back. So yung power button niya ay yung nasa pinakailalim. At ito naman, it works like joystick for menu navigation. So for the position of the monitor, pwede mo siyang i-tilt up up to 20 degrees and pwede mo siyang i-tilt down up to negative 5 degrees. It can also swivel left and right for 15 degrees from the center. And then yung height adjustment niya is from 0 to 120 millimeter or 12 centimeters. Now this monitor can also pivot 90 degrees either clockwise or counterclockwise. For the input-output, meron siyang isang display port, dalawang HDMI, at isang headphone. Meron din itong dalawang speakers. So that's it for this 27-inch Asus Tough Gaming Monitor. Now with regard sa price, ay medyo magkapareho lang sila. So I got this monitor at 17,995. 
Itong video card na to, according sa store na nabilhan ko, ay nag-markdown na daw ang price nito. So, from around 20,000 plus, yung presyo niya ay 17,940. Okay, that's our unboxing for these two Asus Stuff Gaming products. I hope nagustuhan niyo yung video. Once again, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified pag nag-upload ako ng bagong video. Give this video a thumbs up at pakishare na rin. Until next video, thank you for watching.